Hello, and welcome to the first video in a series where we will be exploring the various bike routes throughout Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. We'll be giving them scores, and in this video, we'll be exploring the Kediaxis Trail. It is a trail that opened up in late 2020, and I do feel that not a lot of people know about it, or if they do know about it, they don't know all the connections. Here we are approaching from Hunter Street. And almost immediately there is a connection to West Avenue South, which ultimately goes to Stinson. Now, this trail ranks very high. In fact, for the first trail, it's getting 100%. It's based on the fact that nearly 100% of the trail is protected by this barricade on the left. That's Stinson Street on the right. But on the left, we have this barricade that protects you from the traffic that is traveling 70 kilometers per hour. This used to be a lane of the Claremont axis, but they took it over, put the barricade up. And here we have Young Street that we're passing over. We do not connect to Young Street. And we currently do not connect to the Escarpment Rail Trail, but there is plans to in the future. That actually will give it a score of a 101%, but uh, it's ultimately 100% with a bonus mark. There is 2.4 kilometers to this trail, although I have seen maps where it's actually 2.6 because it goes all the way down to the Health Sciences building. I forget exactly the name at the top of the escarpment. Um, Okay, that was Charlton Avenue that we passed over. Uh, but yes, uh, the, the trail does end abruptly, and that's something we'll get to at the end. Here on the right, we have a connection to what I'm calling St. Joseph's Trail. I don't know if it's the exact name that they're using, but I haven't seen any maps that call it anything else. Uh, St. Joseph's Trail connects to... St. Joseph's Drive, and ultimately to John Street, to yeah, pretty much John Street, just at the base of the escarpment. Up ahead, we have two paths that connect to Arkeldun. The first one that we are passing goes downbound, and the second one goes upbound. And if anyone is curious about the Bruce Trail, we are actually currently riding on it, and it diverges off to the right, just after this route, and there it is. Just follow the trail markers. They are the white markers throughout the city. And here starts a large stretch, about one kilometer stretch, where nothing is connected. And if you aren't going at a decent pace, it can take a little while, especially if you're walking or biking at the proper speed limit, I was going slightly over the proper speed limit for bicyclists. The ridge to the right is actually the Bruce Trail. So if you ever walk along the Bruce Trail, you will be walking along that top ridge. It will be very nice in the spring once it's all green and fresh. But there is a set of stairs that I don't like on it, and so there's a little connection point right before this bridge where you can get back onto the Ketty Axis Trail. Also, I wouldn't recommend taking the Bruce Trail if you are on a bike. Continuing up, we are approaching Upper James Street. And there are several routes that you can take from here which gives the score a bunch of marks back. You lose some due to the incline. The steepest incline is 6 degrees. Um, it had a score of 99.5, and then you minus 6 degrees. I'm not going to get into all the technical aspects of what gets points, what loses points. Uh, connection points are definitely the best way to get points back. So up ahead, we have Southam Park. To the left, 
we have John Street Trail and the James Stairs, but the James Stairs don't really count for bikes. And Southern Park connects to Inverness, but it also connects to Claremont Drive, which is right up above us. We are on an old lane of the Claremont Axis, but it is the Ketty Axis Trail that we are riding on. Uh, not to be overly confusing, uh, it does connect to the Claremont Drive, though. If you're ever walking along on the pedestrian side and you have a fear of heights, this is not the section that you want to be looking over. Uh, I don't have a fear of heights, but it was a windy day when I walked up this just to see just how far the Ketty Access Trail went. And I, I was getting a little bit of vertigo. Anyways, we are actually currently back on the Bruce Trail. It, um, it connected to the John Street Trail and then onto the Ketty Access Trail, but here's where it jumps off again, and the Bruce Trail continues on to Beckett Drive at that opening. Now, this is something that I don't like about the trail. It abruptly ends. There's markings for bikes, but it kind of forces you on to the sidewalk, and there's no nice smooth ramp onto the road, and so there's this huge huge section of sidewalk, uh, which I'm not including in the 2.4 kilometers that the trail is, where you're forced to be on the sidewalk. Uh, yes, you could hop back onto the road. I prefer not to bend my wheels. Anyways, that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and please stay tuned as we slowly go over all the bike routes in Hamilton, Ontario. Take care.